What's up guys, this is Kefis, and we are back to take a look at another macro in my Gnome Sequencer Enhanced plugin. We've been doing this for a little bit now. I apologize for the brief uh, absence. I've been really busy with work and stuff like that, so I do apologize. But I'm finally ready to show off the Fury Warrior today. Now, keep in mind, of course, this is not a full-on Fury Warrior guide, but rather a demonstration of the macros and how to use them located in my Gnome Sequencer Enhanced plugin. All that will be in the description below if you want to check that out. But anyways, let's get right into it. So this one is actually very, very, very straightforward, which I was really happy about. I really enjoy the Fury Warrior a lot, actually. It's really fun, really simple, really straightforward. The macros are the same. So when you type in slash GS, you will get two macros, Fury S and Fury A. One is obviously for single target, one is obviously for AOE, if you couldn't guess. <laughs> and you can see here that I recommend talents, really straightforward. Two and then three on everything else. Now, this is a great example of a class and a system where even though I recommend certain talents, you can totally go with whatever the crap you want because it really doesn't matter all that much. These are just the ones that I think are fun and easy and seem to be the most effective. Now, what's cool though is like, for example, um, in, in the second tier of talents, you will see that I've gone with double time, which all it does is just increases the maximum number of charges uh, by one and uh, reduces its cooldown by three seconds. I like to charge a lot, so I thought that was cool. But if you wanted to go with Stormbolt, you could because the macro would manage Stormbolt. And you can also go with Shockwave because the macro will manage Shockwave. The macro obviously also manages Avatar. And then, of course, if you didn't go with Avatar, you went with one of these other talents, it would be fine. It also manages Bloodbath down here, and obviously I'm not using it, but if you wanted to go with Bloodbath, the macro will take care of it. Same for uh, Dragon's Roar and Blade Storm as well. So, if you went with those talents, the macro will take care of those. Even Battlecry is in the macro. So, matter of fact, all the major warrior cooldowns for DPS, like Battlecry, um, Berserker Rage... You know, those those talents, are, or, or abilities, I should say, are all in the macro. Avatar, Bloodbath, they're all in there. You're good to go. So everything is pretty much set up. And otherwise, it's going to take care of all your abilities. The only talent that I strongly recommend that you take is Inner Rage, because it turns Raging Blow into a cooldown, and that just makes Raging Blow a lot easier to use in the macro. Otherwise, it's not a big deal. You can do whatever. And otherwise, the well, there's one other talent we'll take a look at, but we'll go over that here in a little bit. Now... Basically what the rotation or what the macro is going to do is it's going to take care of your entire rotation. And when I say your entire rotation, I mean everything from execute to furious slash. When you do single target, as you all will demonstrate now, you'll charge in. Obviously you put charge on the saber button because that would be a disaster if we tried to put that in the macro. And as you can see, it's got all my cooldowns. Avatar is going. We use Dragon's Roar. We're using Bloodthirst. We use Raging Blow. We're using Rampage when we have enough Rage, and otherwise it's just going crazy, man. Using Furious Slash when there's absolutely nothing else to do, and it's doing pretty well. Now, my gear isn't the greatest on this character, so it's not going to be as good as maybe some of my other classes that I've shown, because they're way better geared, which is what makes it kind of hard to really test a lot of these classes. Now, the Demon Invasion events are finally out, so that makes it a little bit easier to gear up, and it makes it easier for me to test these guys, but as you can see... This is really straightforward. Now, obviously, my cooldowns are, are all used up, so the DPS is going to probably drop quite a bit. Um, that's a nice burst, though, there at the beginning. And what's cool is when I use um, uh, Battle Cry and uh, Berserker Rage, they always go off at the same time uh, because they sync up like that. that. That's what makes it really effective. Uh, but otherwise, you can see it's, it's using everything on cooldown. I'm usually not capping Rage, which is good. I mean, I'm not using the talent that wants me to cap Rage. I wouldn't recommend that you did that if you're going to use this macro. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, it's really, really, I mean, I'm really happy with it. It's making it very easy. The only thing is I can't really demonstrate um, execute because I'm not. I'm finding a target dummy right now. But when you are below, when the target is below a certain amount of health, it will use execute a lot. So you're good there. If you go with massacre, it's actually a good thing. Um, so, uh, which is a talent you could take if you wanted to. But even if you don't, it's still fine. So basically, that's all there is to it. Um, you can see I'm already using Avatar again. We're already back up and running and going crazy with the thing and doing all our crap. I love the ra Rampage animation. Now, if I switch over to the AoE macro, which I'm doing now, it's going to do the exact same thing as a single target one does, including Rampage when you have enough rage. 
but it'll also do Whirlwind as much as possible. So instead of doing Furious Slash, it's going to do Whirlwind, as that is the ability that you want to use in AoE situations. Now there is one exception to this rule, which is the talent that I wanted to talk about, which is Wrecking Ball. Let me try to get out of combat here. Heroic Leap away. Bam. Hopefully that'll do the trick. I love Heroic Leap. Obviously, Charge and Heroic Leap are on separate buttons, so that way you can kind of manage it a little bit better. Now, let's look at Wrecking Ball real quick. So, Wrecking Ball, basically, it makes it so that you can get a proc so that your next Whirlwind deals 200% increased damage. This is a really fun talent. A lot of people like it. I prefer Avatar right now, just because it's easier to manage and it does a lot of DPS. But in the event that, say, Wrecking Ball just becomes very viable, real competitive, and it's, it's real effective, what I would recommend that you do is, uh, whenever you're doing it, here, let's try to switch to it and see if we can, see if we can demonstrate this a little bit, actually. So, basically, all you would do, if you're going to go with Wrecking Ball, is use your single target, uh, macro, and then whenever Wrecking Ball happens, like you get that buff, switch over to your AoE macro until you use Whirlwind, and you'll be square. That's all you really need to do. Should work just fine. Shouldn't be a problem. There you go. See, I just did it. That's all you gotta do. So, as you get, as you see, that's basically all there is to that. Now, obviously, I'm trying it again because I see Wrecking Ball out there. And there it goes. Bam. So, we did it. And, uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. So, that's all you really need to do. <laughs> that was like an on-the-fly demonstration. I really never thought about trying it because, like I said, I like Avatar. It's just a lot easier. But that might be fun for you to try out. Just, uh... Create a weak auras for Wrecking Ball. Uh, yeah, you know, that way you can see it if, you have a, if you're like me and you have a hard time seeing it. You could do that if you wanted to, whatever. Or use Tell Me When or something. But regardless, that's basically all there is to a Fury Warrior. I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope it was informative for you. I really appreciate your guys' support on these. I'm glad they're helping out so many people. That's what it's all about, man. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, and I just wanted to share everything. Give people a little bit of an easier time in the game, because I know a lot of people... Maybe you're like me and you just have something making it hard to access all the classes and all the fun in the game. And hopefully this makes it easier for you. So especially when you're out doing Demon Invasion events, maybe you can test these out and see how they work for you. And I really appreciate the feedback. You guys are awesome. I'll try to get more of these out as soon as I can. So thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. This is Kefis. Until next time.